Welcome back to Sub2 Investor. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys my master plan for subject to real estate investing. This is the master plan, guys. This is the bird's eye view of the entire business model. This is how I create massive spreads in cash flow and back end future equity payouts passively using creative finance. Now, this video is an excerpt from my complete beginner's guide to creative real estate investing. It's an online course that I created. There's so much amazing content in these videos. This is a cool video because it really does give you the bird's eye view. Have you ever wondered like what all goes into doing one of these deals from beginning to end. So stay tuned to see what's all involved in this master plan. This course is basically giving you 95% of what you need to get your deal done. I mean, I'd say 100%, but there's always questions that you have in a particular deal. So I'm going to leave like 5% there margin. But this is going to give you almost everything that you need to do the deal from beginning to end the way that I do deals. That means buying deals subject to and creatively and then selling them either on a lease and option or a contract for deed or wrap mortgage. So this business model, this vision for creating passive income with real estate, I lay it all out here on a master plan. Let me show you. So here is my master plan for sub two real estate investing. All right, you'll see that there's seven steps from left to right, seven columns that spell out the seven macro steps to getting these deals Done. And this course walks you through these seven steps in detail. I think it's helpful to give you a broad overview of what we're doing before we actually get into the details and into the weeds on each particular step. For step one, we have generating leads. For step two, we have managing leads. Step three, evaluating leads quickly. Step four, getting step four getting deals under contract. Step five, evaluating deals thoroughly. Step six, closing the deal. And step seven, exiting the deal. This entire complete beginner's guide to creative real estate investing is going over this entire master plan in detail so that you can get these deals done. This is a crash course in creative real estate investing. Let me just go through each column and I'm going to read each column, getting the broad overview of what we're doing in this business model. So with step one, we're generating leads. Now, anyone who owns and may need to sell a property is a lead. Begin building a deal pipeline immediately and never stop adding to this deal pipeline. Lead generation is a mere statistics game and a numbers game. The more we do it, the more leads we have to make offers on, the more deals we close, the more cash flowing properties we have. Lead generation is perhaps the most difficult step in this entire process of real estate investing. So you're going to need some tenacity just to get through the first step of this master plan. Explore outbound and inbound marketing strategy. Try one to two strategies at a time and determine through trial and error which methods are best for you. Now you're going to want to set a marketing budget and stick to this budget. Track the results of your marketing and adjust your strategy for peak optimization. So step one, we are generating leads. Step two, now we're managing leads once we start getting leads in the door. You're going to create your own template for qualifying leads. Upon first contact with a lead, we're going to try to determine the condition of the property, their motivation for selling, their timeline for selling, their sales price, and because we're sub two investors, whether there are any loans on the property, that means get a mortgage statement and figure out what debt is on the property that you can take subject to. Become good at quickly determining whether a lead is motivated to sell since truly good deals only come from truly motivated sellers. Quickly learn how to handle the most common objections to creative subject to offers. Follow up with all of your warm leads religiously. The fortune is in the follow-up. 
build a reliable system that works for you to manage and follow up with your leads. I'd say here, automation is key. Now, once we've managed our leads, now we have some warm leads we need to make offers on. That means we need to evaluate leads quickly. We're not gonna waste time going down a long rabbit hole. We're going to learn how to do this quickly so that we can get our offer out as quickly as possible. Know your own buy box, be able to describe it succinctly to somebody on a short elevator ride. That's a good test on, do you know your own buy box? Establish a system for quickly running sales comps and rental comps to be able to determine the after repair value and the rent values in less than five minutes. Learn how to establish rehab costs in less than five minutes. Know your requirements for total front end cash out of pocket expense, cash flow, your back end equity spread, your cash on cash return, or any other metric that's important to you. You got to know those things to know if it's a deal for you or not. And then learn how to operate the sub to investor deal evaluator calculator quickly and efficiently to be able to determine the pass or fail for any given prospect deal. Now, once you've quickly evaluated a deal and that this is actually a deal, then you're gonna to wanna to get that deal under contract, step four. You don't have a deal until you have it in writing. Remember this, no matter what the seller says, buyers are liars, sellers are too. Understand your purchase contract and be able to explain it if questioned. You can always amend a purchase agreement later, so don't worry about getting it perfect, just get the dang contract. Always put as little earnest money down as possible. Get as many sub two documents signed as possible during the seller's honeymoon phase. Submit your executed purchase contract to a reputable title company and ask for an earnest money deposit receipt. File an affidavit and memorandum of purchase agreements with the county to protect your interest in the deal and that's step four. Step five is going to be a thorough evaluation of the deal. Now that it's your neck on the line, you need to make sure that this is a deal you want to close on. You're going to obtain professional grade sales comps and rental comps. You're going to verify mortgage balances in terms. You're going to verify property taxes, hazard insurance costs, HOA fees, assessments, HOA bylaws, rules and regulations, utility costs, and any unforeseen expenses. You'll obtain professional property inspections. I never forego a sewer and or septic and well inspection. Obtain professional rehab estimates. Obtain and examine the title report. Determine whether there are at least two viable exit strategies for your deal and secure funding from a private money lender if you choose to use one. If all those things check out, well then we're moving on to step six and that's closing the deal. Close as soon as possible because time is the killer of all deals. You're gonna obtain a hazard insurance policy and make sure that policy is structured correctly, especially if it's a subject to deal, take ownership of every aspect of the closing process. Check in with the seller regularly, with the title company regularly, with the insurance agent, with your private money lender, if there's a wholesaler or real estate agent, make sure they're doing their tasks to ensure a smooth closing. Things will go wrong. It's your job to fix it nobody else is going to do it for you, take ownership. Send any necessary paperwork to the seller with advance notice. This includes the sub two closing disclosures. Give them at least one last chance to ask any questions or raise any potential objections. Make sure they're on the same page. I will also add here, record a video interview with the seller capturing for perpetuity their acknowledgement and agreement with all the sub two aspects and liabilities of the deal. Next, close on the deal, obtain keys from the seller, obtain all of the original blue ink paperwork, especially that sub two paperwork, file that away in a vault, and then receive a wire transfer. If you if you are getting paid on the deal, you're probably not for just closing the deal, but wire transfers are best. Otherwise, it's likely you who's going to be bringing a cashier's check to closing. But then boom, you've closed, and now we're on to step seven, exiting the deal. If possible, begin marketing the 
property before you close to save time and money holding costs. You might be able to find a buyer even before you close on the property. Create a marketing copy to advertise your property for sale or rent to own. Make sure the marketing copy makes it abundantly clear that you're offering seller financing or a rent to own with no banks, no credit necessary, that kind of thing. Advertise on Facebook Marketplace, Zillow, handwritten bandit signs placed in the front yard throughout the neighborhood. Also, I'll add on Craigslist and on the MLS if you desire. Create an efficient system for funneling and filtering inbound leads. Hire a virtual assistant if necessary. Oftentimes, your first buyer is your best buyer. Never sign anything without first receiving certified funds from a prospective tenant buyer. Vet your buyer prospects judiciously and verify ability to repay. If you're selling on seller financing, well then use an RMLO to get them underwritten. Finally, know your paperwork inside and out, execute those documents, receive the certified funds, and get paid. Very broad overview of the entire business model, but once you've done this once or twice, it's all going to gel together. I've been doing this model now for several years and it's worked out fantastically. I've honed the model to make it efficient and clear. I hope you find tremendous value in this course. Now, if you're interested in going deeper and learning more and really need some personalized coaching and training, then I recommend you go to my website to check out the Complete Beginner's Guide course. Go to www.sub2investor.com and you can you know check out this course. I have some paperwork on there and some coaching programs in case you are interested and getting into creative finance and subject to investing and are looking for not a guru to mentor you, which because I am not a guru, but somebody who's going to give you some more personalized attention, be able to really you know work with you on a weekly basis to help you get your first deal done and beyond. Check that out, guys. I hope you found a lot of value in this video for free. I'm going to be releasing more of these in the weeks ahead. If you haven't yet liked this video, left me a comment to let me know what you want me to talk about next. I appreciate that. Until next time, stay creative. Peace.